to get to the final thing, which is here's some weird stories of 2017. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, we're gonna listen to some weird stories that made 2017 for, for this. this. Okay. By the way, let's see. Okay, I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and send you the link so you can look at it yourself too. All right. Because you're good like that. All right. I keep my hand in the wrong thing. There we go. 13 story. We're not going to go through all 13. We don't have all that time. We got things to do, do I got snow to look at. You guys, we got snow to look at. I guess we're so... Okay. Okay, here, here's a... Let's see. What's the first all one? Right. First, Around six cows escaped the confines of their pastures and... Strode down Farm Road south of Petaluma. <laughs> Where is Petaluma? Where are in the world? <laughs> Google that. <laughs> Look at it. Where is Petaluma? I like that name. Petaluma. 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 California. Oh, it's in California. Of course. Yeah. That, that's kind of a t- typical day where we live, though, really. Six cows escaping. <laughs> That's pretty is much. It like <laughs> South Cal? No, it's not. It's like so. The closest city is San Francisco. Okay, now here's um, 560 pounds of crystal meth were found in Santa Rosa storage facility, leading Australian U.S. drug agents arresting three Australian men. Apparently, the grand plan was for one of them to buy a single-engine airplane and fly the meth back to Australia. But the weight of the drugs exceeded the plane's weight limit by at least 2,000 pounds. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Gary Howard was arrested after an attempted intimidation tactic went wayside trying to send a message to a local criminal defense attorney. Howard sent his truck on fire, set his truck on fire, tore down a brick pillar on his house, and left a dead bird alongside. Oh, that's not funny. Oh <laughs> Flaming box of feces on the doorstep. <laughs> How juvenile can you get? It's like, I'm going to show that district attorney. Watch this. I'm going to put the flaming poo joke. the wrong oh house. <laughs> he got the wrong <laughs> He used the flaming the poo. He put flaming poo. <laughs> What's the thing? Someone called 911 to report body parts on South Santa Rosa. Oh, that's gross. What first responders found at the scene was an abandoned shoe near the double yellow line. Blood and innards. What was likely a raccoon and a homeless man taken afternoon night on the nap. Better than body parts, though, right? What? Oh, my gosh. That's weird. What's it trying to say? That is sick. I'm skipping that. Hey, ignore that. <laughs> then we just... I'm ignoring it. Hey, get that out of your mind. Okay, delete that. Delete. Okay. No, I'm not too late. Okay, number five. While in the midst of preparing 165 burgers for the first responders just after a tub's fire, a Carl's Jr. kitchen fire erupted. The staff was halfway through filling the large order when a grease fire ignited. The Santa Rosa Fire Department controlled the fire in 15 minutes. The fire left an estimated $75,000 of damage worth thankful for our heroes. Continue even when they're trying to grab a burger. So these guys were... <laughs> were grabbing a burger and then they had a fire away well that's irony isn't it i guess is that what yeah. the, that's the definition of irony I, missing that persons me, yeah that that's reminds me of how the the calvert city mcdonald's yeah you remember that burst into flames and the one in metropolis burst into flames like two days later but that was mcdonald's was crazy theory oh no see yeah, i didn't yeah. know anything about that uh, See, a missing yeah, person. Calvert City bumps into flames, and then the one in Metropolis did. See, I only go to the Dairy Queen in Calvert. <laughs> they I give. Me- oh my goodness! It's like th- they used. They were the first ones to have like the breakfast, okay? And then you you go- and that's it would you- make me mad because I'd go to work and dude was like getting breakfast from Calvert City. He get up there. I get there at five thirty in the morning, get everything ready, and at seven o'clock he go to Calvert City Dairy Queen. And he come in about seven seven thirty, and he bring that delicious breakfast in. And Calvert at the time was the only one doing the breakfast. Now everybody Dairy Queen's doing breakfast. Now. now, 
Oh my gosh. A missing person search morphed into a hunt for a wanted man after authorities discovered that a Windsor resident was reporting missing after his boat was found adrift in Boda Bay, Bodega Bay, Bodega Bay, and had later turned up on the Mexican border. The found man tried to run, but he couldn't hide. Hmm, I understand that one. I don't. Uh, Ronert Park Public Safety received a call by a man flaunting a weapon in the Food Max parking lot and threatening a man and his daughters. When arriving, more than a dozen officers rushed in the store and detained three men at gunpoint. Turns out they got the wrong guys. The three men were released when no weapons were found on them in their vehicle. A s- small alligator was spotted. Now, I see that all the time. And that is another Petaluma neighborhood. It's Petaluma! Petaluma! <laughs> It's like the Florida thing, except Petaluma. It's Petaluma. Yeah, you get those Florida ones all the time about those little alligators. There was, yeah. I remember one story where um, that I read on the news of the bazaar, where um, they thought there was an alligator, so they called the, um, you know, the, the, the I guess the nature people, whatever, and they came down there, and it turned out to be a stuffed alligator. <laughs> it was like. They made a big deal of it because it was like a, it was like a, outside of a, uh, a daycare center or something. It's like a teacher calls like, oh, we've got an alligator here, and they they just, I mean, you look at their faces like they're dealing with the real alligator, and they come out there and turn out to be a stuffed alligator. I think they felt embarrassed. Oh yeah, it's a, your tax dollars at work right there. A big rig carrying some six thousand chickens overturned in route to look another Petaluma. This is all Petaluma. <laughs> Petaluma. Uh, poultry's play. As a result, the, we want to tell everybody that Petaluma is weird. <laughs> a bomb threat on March 8th at Rancho Cote Hasco warned students of the faculty that they would be massacred mercilessly. The intimidation forced nearly 1,500 students and 100 faculty members to evacuate. A 19 year old with dual U.S. and Israeli citizenship was hired to send the threat for $30. Was not real who ordered the threat. Well, that's just weird. So someone paid this student thirty dollars to to do a false bomb threat. Now that's crazy. Why? Don't know. I feel like I do that at my work. <laughs> like, hey, can you? I'll give you fifty dollars to do a bomb threat, and I don't have to show you. <laughs> they need you there, though. Yes. You know, it could be worse. You could have worked at... Petaluma. Something was off about the... the Don't the cows running around? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Something was off about the young lady wearing sunglasses in the passenger seat of a car that was traveling in a carpool lane. And this is a mannequin. Now, I've heard people do this before. That way they can drive the Mm -hmm. carpool lane. So they put like a mannequin in there. (laughs) It was using... The mannequin had no comment. Of course not. All right. The hot air balloon with at least two passengers and a pallet made an emergency landing in the Sears Auto Center at Santa Rosa Plaza. No one was injured when the balloon came down safely in the small lot in front of Sears. Having a hot air balloon landed in downtown Santa Rosa is a first for me, Santa. So, made an emergency landing in Santa Rosa. Okay, so what's the last story? Santa Rosa police received word that a man had stepped out of his car and began firing what appeared to be a pistol. Ten police cars rushed to the scene. The Sonoma County Sheriff's Officer Henry One helicopter was deployed at a medical team stage. The suspect ended up being a road worker, subcontracted to use a tool similar to a nail gun to secure rubber tubing to the pavement as part of a traffic survey. <laughs> Crazy. Those were not too good. I think that was just... Yeah, this is from Argus, a courier, who provided us that information. So thank you, Argus. And I'm assuming that's where Petaluma is in Argus, like Argus County or something. Yeah, that's where Petaluma. Petaluma. (laughs) Petaluma, California. Petaluma, California. Thank you for being weird and wonderful and sending sending us those weird stories for me to read. (laughs) Stay weird. Providing the world with a weird story. Exactly. Stay weird, Petaluma and Argus. All right. Hey. I got, I got this. I got this. I, I totally... What do you What do you got there? Stay weird. There we go. Yeah. Well, it... Hey, we need. Can you make like a peace sign for Petaluma? That way. We... 
Stay weird, Petaluma. Peace. Stay weird, Petaluma. <laughs> Petaluma. Alright. Alright, guys. Did I you hear that? <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about it. Let's get into the uh, J pop. <laughs> Because the bunnies all night long. <laughs>